Well, good evening, Fernando. Welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. We're on the brink of one of the biggest turning points in human history. Society and life as we know it could be about to change beyond all recognition. And according to people like Elon Musk, one of the richest and smartest people alive, well, the future's here. If you say, like, over a 20, 30-year time frame, um, I think things will be transformed beyond belief. Uh, you, won't, you, probably, you, will, you probably won't recognize society in 30 years. Um, like, I do think we're, we're fairly close. You asked me about artificial general intelligence. I think we're perhaps only three years, maybe six years away from it. This, this, this decade. Wow, that was Elon Musk last night. Well, artificial intelligence could upend our lives as dramatically as the Industrial Revolution the invention of the internet, or it could end our lives. It's that big. Mind-reading AI has just allowed a paralyzed 40-year-old man to walk again by creating a wireless digital link between his spinal cord and his brain. That is clearly a brilliant benefit of AI. Chatbots write in perfect human prose by scouring the entire internet in fractions of a second. They can pass exams, write literature and code software in an instant. AI can generate music, photography, corporate logos, art based on any instructions, no matter how off the wall. Ask AI to create a painting of a fox balancing an apple on its foot in the style of Salvador Dali, and it'll give you this. It takes three seconds. It's free, and anybody can use it. And the more people who do use it, well, the smarter it gets. That how it is how it works. But you may have already spotted the slight problem. Humans created this technology. Beyond that, it doesn't really need us. And even in its nascent form, it can generate very convincing fakes. The Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, launched his US presidential campaign on Twitter Spaces last night with Elon Musk, an audio-only chat room on the app. It had a few tech issues, so Donald Trump, his big rival for the Republican nomination, posted this, I have to admit, very realistic and, and clever satire in response. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Ron DeSantis Twitter space. Hello. Is my microphone working correctly? George, can you just wait while we... Hello. Can you hear me? We can all hear you, George. Can you just hold on for a second? Hilfa, I don't think they can hear me. <coughs> I can hear you fine, George. Just speak to I the microphone. I don't think George knows how to use Twitter. Hello. Uh, can you hear me now? Can I please make my big announcement now? Everyone just... Hello. Just shut up, George. Can somebody just mute, George? <laughs> Dick, could you try not to cough on the... <coughs> okay, so how are we going to take out Trump, you guys? Uh, uh, guys from the FBI, this is not a private call. This is a public Twitter space. Everyone can listen in. I mean, that's all fake. That didn't actually happen, obviously. But it's a brilliant fake. It's very convincing. I watched it the first time and thought, is that what happened last night? Now, imagine that's a, a fairly trivial thing, but imagine if it was footage from a war, for example. A lot of people can now create a lot of problems with very little effort, thanks to AI. These photographs of Trump being arrested were entirely fake and generated by artificial intelligence. This AI-generated hoax photograph of an explosion at the Pentagon sparked a stock market panic recently. If we can't believe our own eyes and ears, well, how will democracy function? And if AI can do so many of our jobs, well, what the hell are we going to do? British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has now acknowledged that AI could be an existential threat. More than a thousand of the smartest people in the world are so worried about it, they've called for a complete six-month hiatus on its development. Depending on who you ask, AI is about to either save the world or completely destroy it. So